<laughs> hey y'all. Um, well, it's finally over. Kim Kardashian and Ye officially settled their divorce. Now, uh, get this. Ye has to pay Kim $200,000 a month in child support. Not alimony, but child support. Ye and Kim will get uh, joint custody with equal access to the four children. What are your thoughts on the settlement? I believe there's also like eight houses she's getting. Like, she's it's quite the deal. Um, Al, what do you think about this settlement? You know, I got to be honest with you. In my mind, it was to be expected. I thought that this is a perfect time for uh, counsel Laura uh, Wasser to go in there and close this deal. We've seen Kanye kind of unraveling on national television financially and socially. It was a great argument for her at this time to to say that, you know, Kanye may not be as emotionally and mentally stable to have custody of the kids. And instead of running that risk, he decided to concede. Now, the interesting thing about this, uh, Claudia, is it's not a normal uh, ch uh, child support situation. What they decided to do was handle all bills for the kids evenly. So because the monthly bills for each kid, including education and security is $400,000 by them splitting that because Kim has the kids 80% of the time, Kanye is to pay her $200,000 a month. Now, this is where it gets really interesting though, where you know there was a windfall for Kim and there's a reason behind it. Number one, if ever they have an issue surrounding how one of them is parenting, they immediately are supposed to go to mediation to settle it. And if one of them do not show up for mediation, the one that doesn't, the one that does show up wins. Kim knows that Kanye is always not showing up for mediation. Number two, you remember that house that he purchased across the street from them? Um, a part of their settlement is that he has to sell that house. How interesting is that? And not only does he have to sell it, but he has agreed to sell it. And the last most interesting thing is that the custody agreement can be changed. So Kanye has to think and be a little bit smarter in how he's handling his kids and his ex-wife, Kim, because right now all the cards are in her deck. Well, I mean, I... It's to be exact. He brought that on himself. You can't blame nobody but 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 Kanye in this, you know. Q, what do you think about this? I mean, you know, say what you want to say. However, y'all want to feel about Kim Kardashian in relation to black men, I definitely think the court system in this situation did what was totally in the best interest of the children. I, I am not opposed, despite the fact that she's a billionaire and he is uh, was a recent billionaire. I, I'm not opposed to him having to pay her $200,000. We all know that the parent that has the child the most, despite them splitting the costs or the expenses, still carries extra expenses. It's not about whether she needs the money or not. It's, what's, it's about what's fair. And Al, you brought up something that was very interesting. I'm also glad, too, that he's been forced to have to sell that house from across the street from that lady because number one, he don't need to be terrorizing that woman. Number two, he don't need to be in that close of a vicinity of her that when she get a next man, he start flipping out. We can see he's erratic. The minute Kanye got rid of Pete Davidson, then he started beefing with Gap and whoever and everybody else. The man is just hell bent on being on a downward spiral. Um, and I think this is definitely just in the best interest of the children and I hope Kim Kanye and the children all find peace in this situation, but Kanye the most, I hope he finds peace now that this situation is settled and there's no more back and forth. I agree. And people are like, well, she don't need all that money. She's a billionaire. She it's not about that. It's about that they should both contribute to the, the kids. And I say that if it's a woman uh, on the receiving end, uh, uh, on the other end, I, I think that people like both parents should be contributing to the ch children not just the one that makes the most money. And, you know, I, I do think that Kanye really does love his kids. I don't know them. I, I, I'm going to be clear. I'm just speaking as an outsider looking in. I do, which makes it more all the more surprising some of the antics that he's been doing, knowing that especially his daughter, North, North is old enough to kind of know what's going on and be aware. You know, like some of the things he's saying, oh my God, I'm so sorry. All, some of the things he's saying and been doing lately, I would think that someone that loves his kids so much and cares about what how they perceive him would be a little bit more careful. I, I think he's showing really reckless behavior. I have a friend that went through a really difficult um, uh, custody battle with her, her child's father, and there's no unsupervised visits with the kids until he's showing to be mentally stable. Mm. Because if we're seeing the stuff that we're seeing that he thinks that's fit for the, the everyone, can you imagine how he is behind closed doors? I can only mm. imagine. Yeah. And he's it's clear this man, he's he's very talented, but it's clear he's not well. He's going through some things. 
And have y'all been seeing all the Nick, the Fuentes, like the stuff that he's been saying, the people he's aligning himself with, it just doesn't yeah. make sense with, yeah. with college dropout Kanye that was for yeah. the people, you know? Well, I mean, listen, if you want another indicator that Kanye is not well, it's the fact that he walked into the home of, a, of another mentally unstable person and asked that person to be his VP. Like, if that's not if that's not an indicator that you are off your rocker, then I don't know what is. Can you imagine how that no, conversation went? Well, he said Donald Trump got erated and, and damn near <laughs> cussed him out and, and said- Put him out. And referred yeah. to Kim in some not flattering uh, uh, words. Right. Did right. y'all see the back? Did you guys see the the campaign ad that Kanye put out featuring Foxo's very own Vivica Fox using her? Yes, I, did. I saw that. What did. y'all yeah. think about that? I, I did. I did. I did. Well, I, I saw it because I think Vivica, I think uh, Vivica might have posted it or a blog posted it or mm -hmm. something where she was saying, you know, if you're going to use it, use it in the right context or whatever. Um, uh, in the words of Kaya, thanks for free promotion, bitch. Okay, it was <laughs> free promotion. So you know, I mean, we, he he, you know, and I, and I got her point, her her frustration. She's like, if you're gonna use my clip, use it in context because she was very frustrated with him when Kanye was going on the whole George Floyd wasn't murdered, which right. is a white supremacist talking point that he oh he was only he only died from fentanyl had nothing to do with the knee. So she was really hurt about that, like most of, of America was when when he said that. And he used that. And it's like, I found it ironic that he used a black woman to kind of put out that angry black women, you know, coming. Well, again, coming in the words of Kaya, thanks for free promotion, bitch. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, I'm getting those. We, we got to take a quick break. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with more TGIF after this.